Welcome back to my channel. I simplify finance so you can learn how to invest in stocks and crypto fast. So let's get started. All right. So in this video, we're going to talk about Trust Wallet and I'm going to show you how to use it for full tutorial on exactly what to do, how to create your account and how to add an account to your wallet so you can go ahead and start using this wallet. Now, this is a hot wallet and you guys want to watch the whole video all the way through so that I can show you exactly how to do you know, multiple things on the Web3 and different things like that. So you probably want to know how to do all these things. And you never heard of this wallet. If you never heard of this wallet, hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and get in there and show you exactly what to do. All right. So when you first download this trust wallet, it works on Android. It also works on Apple. You can either create a new wallet or you can, if you already have a wallet, which if you already made one, then you can just transfer your secret phrase over. All right. So you can create, you hit create wallet. It's going to ask you to back up your wallet and then it's going to give you a secret phrase. You know, once you get to this point, it's going to ask you to put these codes in. And then once you do, you know, then it, it jumps into you having a wallet. All right. So I already have a wallet, so I'm not going to go through that process, but we're going to go ahead and work on basically what to do. So in my wallet, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the wallet so you got your coins once you open your wallet you're going to start off with bitcoin and ethereum and you're going to have the ability to uh add more wallets to this so you can have multiple wallets as i was showing you here you hit the settings button here and you can have wallets so you have multiple wallets i have multiple wallets because i run different businesses and different things that i have going on so by me having multiple wallets i can run it's like having multiple checking accounts okay so I might, you know, I have um, d d like if one of my businesses wants to receive payments, then it receives payments to a particular wallet. We got the NFT project, Plethora Moons. So when people buy or sell, the funds go into that wallet. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and walk you through the different things that this wallet can do. All right. So once we go in here, I want to show you guys that on the top left. You press that and you got your notifications on the top left. So they give you different notifications and just different things about your self custody wallet. All right. Um, different updates. You hit done on that. On the right, top right, you have your tokens. This is how you add tokens. All right. So if you wanted to add more tokens when you first open up the app, you could, because you probably won't have the same tokens that I had when you first open it up. But if you want to add Algorand or Aptos, or if you want to add, you know, anything like Dogecoin. You have to type it in and then it shows up and then you can just press this little meter right here. Once you hit that lever, your coins will show up when you hit done. All right. Now, if you're adding custom tokens, you're going to hit that and hit the plus on the left side. And here's where you can add your tokens, your custom tokens. You have to hit your network. Depending on what network it is, you can select your networks here. And once you select your network, you choose the network and you put the contract address and then it should usually auto populates the address right into the contract. So it'll know exactly which coin it is. All right. So that's that. All right. Now, I'm going to show you guys like how to send and receive coins on here. So you got your send button here. So if you want to send, you can choose who you're going to who you're going to be sending your coins to. So if I'm going to send Polygon, I get put my address here and you can select how much Polygon you hit next and then it'll take you to the screens. Also, um, on Ethereum, you can even put in people's, you can actually put in people's uh, actual names. If you want to send funds to someone, it'll actually give you this check mark that lets you know that you can send money to a particular wallet. So if I want to send money to my girl, I can do that and then select maximum, you know, where I can select how much Ethereum I'm going to send. And then it'll let me send, you know, uh, some money. All right. So I'm just going to try that right now and just show you what it looks like. So once you hit that, you're going to have the transfer screen and at the transfer screen, you're going to see the amount you're going to have, who it's coming from, where it's going, the network fee and the maximum total. OK, so at the top on the right, you can select this to choose how much gas you're going to put. So I could put if I want to make the gas fee higher or lower. Right now, it says that the gas fee is at 25. So if I wanted to keep this cheap and I wasn't in a rush, I could select 26 or 27 just to make it cheap. And if I wanted this to go extremely fast, then I want to make sure it's like 10 
higher, 10, 10 way higher than what it is on the thing, what it says in the current. Um, also, if you're trying to trade fast and it's really important, like, for instance, if you think that there's a reason why you have to hurry up and get out of Ethereum, maybe, then you would you could even put it even higher if you think there's going to be a, a influx of people trying to make a transaction. Um, all right. So in this case, it also raised the amount of the gas fee. So like right here, you can see if I set it to 26, the gas fee is 72 cent. But if I go back and make this 46 cent or 46 guay, then it changes that to a dollar 27 specifically because I raised it. Now, the higher the fee is, the faster the transaction will be mined and it'll go through. So that's the faster it'll go through. OK, so I'm going to put this to 30 because we don't want to pay as much as we were paying before. So it's at 83. I'll confirm it. It's going to cost me 83 cents to send five bucks, but it is what it is. So I'm going to send that and it's going to take some time. You'll see a number next to it because it's the transaction is going through slowly. Now, if you hit that transaction, you can also see the status, which says pending and has the network fee. And you can also hit the view on Block Explorer if you want to actually go see the transaction going through. And here it says the status is successful. And this is like the actual transaction. So it says I only paid their 80 cent for the transaction, sent $4.99. And that's pretty much it. All right. So if you wanted to send this to somebody, you hit the um, button right here so you can share it. Um, and then, you know, hit done or whatnot. All right. So if you have to send proof to somebody that you sent the money, you can do so. All right. Now, now that's basically how you use that and how you receive money. You hit the receive button. Any currency that you want to receive payment in Bitcoin, you can say that. Hit the copy button, send that to somebody or you can share it. You can even set the amount. And when you set the amount and you send them the address or it'll, it'll create like a QR code and when they scan it. It'll automatically tell them what the amount is. All right. So that's your send and receive. You also have the feature you can buy. And when you want to buy, it'll take you to basically like a credit card program that lets you buy. And these providers are right here. You can see Mercuro, uh, MoonPay, Ramp, Binance, Transact, and Simplex. All right. And you can see the rates. These are currency rates for, you know, making a transaction. So I think this is pretty cool. Like if you want to buy your coins in your wallet, you could do so with the debit card. All right. So I usually use MoonPay. And let's say, for instance, I only want to do 50 bucks is the minimum. I can hit next and it'll take me to the site right here in the wallet. And then it'll ask me to input my information. And which then, you know, you add your debit card information and you go through the transaction. So, you know, if you don't have an account, you're going to have to sign up, put your email in there and do all that good stuff. And then you're going to have to wait a good, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes after you make the purchase for the coins to actually show up in your wallet. All right. So it's not going to be instantaneous, but it does happen over time. On the right here, you have the swap button. And this is if you want to swap coins. So this is interesting because if I want to swap uh, Ethereum based coins, I can select Ethereum based coins. And I want to swap some of this. Uh, I might want to swap, let's see, um, you know, uh, if I want to swap it, it's going to ask me to approve the transaction first. And once I approve the transaction, it's going to want me to pay a network fee. And then once you pay the network fee, it'll actually let you, you know, swap the coins. So it this one is using one inch network. So it's actually borrowing services from one inch. So it's going to cost two dollars and eighty cents to approve the transaction. And then once it's proved, then I would have to hit the swap button to actually swap out the transaction. Now, if I were to choose to, to swap out even more, I would have to just change the amount. So once it's approved, you can change the amount that you want to do it for. If I wanted to swap out the whole amount, it would actually well, it's giving me error because of the the actual amount of coins keeps changing. So I could just say forty eight ninety nine. And it'll probably go through because, oh, no, it's giving me error. So in this case, let's just say 4,800. And if it's still giving me error, then it just means it's too much money. So we'll just do something smaller like that. And then it should, no, it's really not working. Well, looks like it's not going to let me. I'll show you a different way to swap the coins if you guys want to swap them. If you don't want to do it inside the wallet using that, that does usually work. But sometimes it doesn't. It might be because a die 
stable coin. It might be if you're using like, um, you know, Tether or USDC, it might be easier. OK, but we'll show you that in a second. So NFTs right here, you got your NFTs, all the NFTs that you own will appear here and here. Now, you should also have Solana and Ethereum NFT should be appearing in this section. So you'll you'll see that you you know all your NFTs will appear here. Um, so I got I got you know, all my NFTs that I've ever bought are not not just in this wallet, but also have in my cold storage wallet and in like a couple other wallets. But you, once you once you bought them, you can send them to your main wallet. Uh, this isn't my main wallet. This is well, this is my main wallet, but I also have a cold storage wallet, which I'm gonna put a link in the video description talking about how to store your wallet to store all your uh, assets and what to do with them so you guys can protect your assets so you gotta have to watch that video but um yeah so once you got your you know nfts you got your nfts in here you can send the nft by clicking your nft hitting the send button and you can put the address who you want to send it to um if i wanted to send it to uh my girl i can you know put her in ens name in here and then I'll get that check mark again. I can hit next. And then it'll let me send it. It looks like $3.51 is what it'll cost. All right. So that's that. That's how you send NFTs. Okay. So let's talk about Web3. Because in Web3, this, this wallet does Web3. And I want to show you guys exactly how to do that. Now, if you go to Discover, you can see that they got, you know, coins that you can stake. Um, but we're going to have more about that in a different video because I want to make another video specifically for that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch the Trust Wallet staking video that we're going to do. All right, let's go over to Discover. And we're going to go ahead and check out these different, um, check out the different Web3 stuff we can do. So I want to go to Uniswap and I want to try to swap my coins because I wanted to swap them in the first place. And so... I can go to launch app and then what it'll do is it'll connect me. Once I go to connect here, I can connect my wallet. I can just say browser wallet. It'll connect me to that exact wallet and then it'll know exactly how much I got in there. Now, if you want to check, you can hit that button at the top for your profile and it shows my name, nephew.eth here. So it knows it's me. And then all I got to do is basically choose the token that I want to swap out of. In that case, it's the die coin. I want to swap all of it. And I'm going to wait for the best price. It says I'll get 3.7052 Ethereum. And if I hit allow, it'll let me do that thing again. Of course, if I do that, it's going to it's going to actually um, <laughs> it's going to probably charge me to do another. So, oh, OK, so I'm already I've already approved it. So if I wanted to, I could swap this. I hit swap and it says the network fee would be three dollars and fifty eight cents. So, you know, the thing is, guys, is like before you do this, you want to check the price impact and see exactly how much you're going to get. So it says here the expected output was 3.7 ETH. It's going to be something more like 3.68. So I'm going to lose a 0 0.02, which is like probably like 20 bucks or something like that, um, is how much it's going to actually cost me. And if I wanted to, I can make it cheaper by cl clicking this button, going to slippage tolerance and changing that to a 0.1 instead of a 0.5, right? So that it can be, um, they think that if I try to do it, it's going to decline or not go through. So I can actually make it like that. And now it's going to be less. So now instead of it saying point, you know, 3.68, it says 3.69. So almost cut down that much. So I actually would get more of the money. And you can see at the top here, it just says 4899 is how much I started with. 4895 is how much you're going to end with. You have to pay very close attention to that before you start swapping things. Because if you if it says that you're going to get this amount, but you're not paying attention, and it's like $500 lesser than what you had, and you press that button, and then it goes through, it's too bad because you're going to miss out on 500 bucks. You're going to lose that money, and there's not much you can do about that. So I'm going to hit the confirm button. It might not go through just because I'm trying to be cheap and whatnot, but hey, you never know. So we'll see what happens. And so, so far, you know, guys, if you're liking this video so far up until now, if you haven't yet, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, man. Really appreciate it. Makes it easier for me to feel that you guys are loving this content. I'll make more of it. All right. And it says right here. So I'll click this button just so I can see. Oh, it says right there. So it went through. The die is gone. I only have ETH. So I can click here and go look and see. Well, I kind of missed my chance when the 
When it said trust wallet, I could have jumped up. So let's hit the X. Let's go back out. Here you see it says complete. Go out some more. And okay, so now I've gotten rid of the die and all I have is ETH. All right, so that's pretty much that. And now, now I switch to that and now I don't have any die coin. All right, so in the options you can set and your preferences you can set your currency amounts you can set like how much currency you actually have if you wanted to be and in any kind of particular currency you can switch your switch your um, app language you can also change your browser and uh, clear your cache right here all right and also you have security when you click that you can change you can save your uh, passphrase again uh, different things like that and if you click wallet connect this is if you're connected to different wallets uh, different programs that you're connected to you can that you can like disconnect from the different ones and it also works across multiple wallets so the nephew.eth wallet is connected to super rare and gym whereas the they drain me wallet is actually connected to pre mint and just different ones so i can see what's connected to what all right guys so anyway at the end of the day um if you want to scan a qr code and hit this button this will let you scan things so you can kind of scan like you know you can like scan different qr codes and whatnot whatnot if you want to send a payment you also have the option to hit this button at the top right to take a screen like if you have a scan screen it'll take the screen that you actually have a picture of a qr code and then it'll load it up in there for you all right so anyway, guys, I think I covered as much as I needed to cover in this tutorial video. If you want to know more about, like I said, if you want to know more about staking, you can click on my next video right here at the very end. I'm going to tell you all about Trust Wallet Staking. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.